In this video we're going to look at uh, the RAF foundation. We're going to use a standard 350mm cavity wall, 100mm block inside and out, 150 cavity and 100mm insulation. And we'll stick in these sizes here at 225mm depth in the found, 150 at the smallest point in it and 600 going across there with the sand blind. All these here can be seen again by pausing the video and going back to the, the details in it. There's only a few slight differences from the main video. We start by the block in the bottom and using the sizes mentioned, we'll create those. The step in uh, at the edge of the foundation is 50 millimeters, and we can draw our cavity wall. So the angle is used as well too for the repose is uh, 45 degrees the way it slopes back. Stick in 100mm uh, insulation and 150mm concrete slab and it gives us the size. What I'm showing here is the details for the DPM. Now the way I've shown it here there's two variations on it and it can be a little bit confusing with the way I've gone right around there but you can see I've put two marks in it where we can actually cut it out so there's uh, two methods of going around that there. I've put in the blind below the insulation for the below the found itself and 100mm uh, insulation. I'm shown here where I have uh, the fill that's been placed and underneath the the found where it will be placed and it's put in layers of 150 millimeters minimum to 225 max and compacted. And uh, each time you're con constantly building up the detail here. I've, all I've done for the reinforcement bars that are shown here now is slightly different to the book and uh, that it's 50 millimeters in from each of the edges. Uh, to prevent any rust in the corn and uh, it's caged as well too which just means it's all joined up and the concrete's poured in around that and uh, and when the shuttering is set there when the concrete set the shuttering is removed from that insulation is placed in here uh, again I'm using the detail that's kind of like the quilt and colored to make it stand out on the page put in my uh, concrete details to show it and uh, a few dots for the uh, the blind Topsoil put in a, a brown colour. I'm using a blue for the compacted fill and you can see I'm slightly heavier at each of the layers where it would be put in and compacted. Um, a crosshatch detail using the 45 here on the for the blocks. And the step really from the inside to the, the outside, you see the ground my ground line is lining up with the top of the found or top of the, the raft itself and the step up would not really be something like size of a block or uh, a soap bar which could be 150 or 225 so then we need some uh, of our details of what we have in here and uh, I'm just throwing in a, a, a load of um, guidelines to start off with all the details are in your book with the exception of the few changes that I've made uh, my power floated screed is a hundred as a as a hundred and sorry it's a hundred as opposed to 75 it's in the book I would feel that 75 is just a bit too light and the extension line that we're showing at the bottom here is that the, that graded fill that's placed in has to extend out past the foundation by a minimum of one meter. Damp proof course is the same as the other uh, foundations, minimum of 150. That means it can actually be more. So if the insulation's increased or the floor slab is actually increased in size, it'll, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be a minimum of 150 up off the ground on the outside. Uh, other details shown here uh, is the blinding. I changed to 50 millimeter as opposed to 75. I think it is in the the, um, the worksheet. Uh, radon barrier is the same thing as what our DPM is, our damp proof membrane. And I've used the colours, the pen colours again. The DPM is shown in as red. You can see that I lightened out the uh, red line, which I continued across at the very bottom at the start, uh, just showing the way that it would go out, step up and come back down around to the bottom of the foundation before the insulation and the, the concrete screed will be put, placed into that there. It's only a matter of putting in all the rest of the details, plaster, blocks and air tightness tape is shown on the blue, green pen as well at the, the corner joint down here. 